If you want to understand Brexit and what happened last night, Britain's relationship with the EU, the whole thing, stop. Don't think about that stuff. It's not really about that. This is a global phenomenon. This is a revolt against technocracy and elites telling everybody else what to do. At the end of the day, for the past 20 years, 80% of the people have been told 80% of the time by the top 20% what to do, what to think, and what's good for them. Guess what? They've figured it out. The 20% needs to listen, because if they don't, they're going to find something out. The Hamptons is not a defensible position. Hi everybody! Hi Crimson! Oh, I'm so fucking with you guys. What's up? What's up, people? It's me, Crimson Six Hundred Six Two Zero, and this is my second part on Dinner Krager, Prager. I almost called him Freddy Krueger, but Dennis Prager is a fucking monster. And I'm gonna actually try to round this out. Now, before I kind of got super disgusted with the topics that he was doing, and this is gonna be the remainder of the video. And obviously, guys, normally this will be my stream setup. Unfortunately, um, I'm experiencing some computer problems. I want to actually get more RAM, which I've ordered. And if you guys want to actually help out the stream and make sure I can upgrade this piece of shit potato that I'm doing this video on, please, I implore you guys to please, please go to my Streamlabs link in the descriptions or... And this is actually one of the great things. You can actually share this video and subscribe so I can actually work to grow my channel. That being said, guys, I've done the YouTube shit. Please, let's get back into the video. Now, before, we were talking about how Dennis Prager is a piece of shit. and well we're having fun with that so let's actually go ahead and listen to the other stupid shit that he says these people know it now there's a famous one about two boxes there's a female box and a male box so the female box has uh, got like 10 knobs and dials and it has lighting diodes and the mailbox has an on off switch <laughs> you know or there's another one famous one on the on the how to uh, how to seduce a a uh, a woman and it's got so let's kind of go back i'm sorry a sculpture of a male head and a sculpture of a female head by the way cuz i think i broke off here and uh, uh yeah let's go So they're very different brains, which there's a very funny uh, uh, thing on the internet about a guy talking about the male brain and the female brain, and he walks over to a male, uh, you know, a sculpture of a male head and a sculpture of a female head. By the way, there, there are so many hilarious, uh, so many hilarious things on the internet about male-female differences, and they all resonate to the exact same ideas that I'm talking to you about now, because... So his thing is, because a meme exists on the internet, it must be true. Dennis, do you really want to go there? How? Let's start with the simple ones, and I promise you, I'm not being extra religious. Um, the meme of an uncaring god or non-existent god, or that you're a monster, or that you're a devil, or that the meme of you think that men are just some horrible monsters and they would rape and pillage and kill if there were no laws. Oh yeah, no, that's not necessarily a meme. That's the truth bad example but let's continue because people know it now, there's a famous one about two boxes there's a female box and a male box so the female box has uh, got like 10 knobs and dials and it has lighting diodes and the male box has an on off switch <laughs> um are you a simpleton dennis are you really that simple that you're just the one off switch i mean like granted 
let's let's be honest. Like since this is a sexual topic, since you're so like because I think that's the only guys that you're going in. Um, yes, it takes less for men to be sexual aroused out of socialization because women has that same on off switch. Now they may require more to get to that point, but some of that is social condition. Some of that is the way that women bodies are developed. You know, the development that they had for having multiple sex partners to take to get them or, you know, you know, you would know how to get a woman to orgasm if you paid a fake university to do it. But still, um, to break it down in simple terms, women's bodies are designed to have multiple sections of sex versus men's bodies who is really just designed to try to beat out the best competition. But that's a different story. But let's go. I'm, yeah, let's go. You know, or there's another one, famous one on the on the how to uh, how to seduce a a uh, a woman, and it's got a list of like 15 things: bring her flowers, say nice things, talk about what's on her mind, perhaps stroke her tenderly. And he... All right, so the romanticization, the uh, romanticism bullshit, like I, I, you know, me crimson, you know, me, um. Yeah, of course. I actually don't like that characterization because that's what women have been socialized to believe that a man needs to show out and prove himself worthy of actually being with you. And it's infantilization. It's demeaning the value of a person to not a person that you want to get to know, but a fucking fetch quest that you're turning into some shopkeeper like oh yeah i have this i have this i've done this i've done that instead of really just getting to know people and that's a disservice not only to women because it just treats them as a final boss goal you know but it's also a disservice to men because it only puts them as what i can buy to win your affection instead of just trying to work on your fucking personality but here we go you know, like 10, 15 things. Uh, for the other one, uh, sh uh, bring food, show up naked. That's it. That's, 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 it's not hard. So. No, Dennis, dog, no. To fucking please me as a man, you have to do more than bring food and show up naked. Like, I literally have a friend of mine who, uh, we not really dating, but like, their perception to make me happy is to cook for me i'm sorry i think i've cooked more meals for my friends than they've cooked for me and that's just saying because i like sharing the gift of food versus it's a requirement for a woman to date me like no you don't have to cook i learned how to cook on my own no you don't have to be naked like dude there are some awesome looking young ladies that i know in my life and um is just a openness ring to awesome young ladies that I know in my life that they look awesome but like their attitude is fucked up just solely fucked up and like I wouldn't sleep with them yeah I wouldn't sleep with them because they have a, such a fucked up ass attitude it was actually somebody after i recently separated with my wife like recently just like a few a uh, few months after i separated my wife that she had a badass body i mean like like tits for days that's eh, okay ass but tits for days but she just had a nasty ass attitude nasty ass attitude you piss her off and you like and i'm like really fucking really but somebody who i wouldn't conventionally describe as attractive in my early 20s but you know she got tits you know she got ass and she's actually a sociable person that i met a few months after that with somebody that I would rather keep in my life. 
But I digress. You wouldn't understand this sentence because you're a monster. Uh, why do they? Why do people put these things out? Because the, they, they resonate with real life. That's why. So of course men think about it more than women. Are there some women who are preoccupied with it? Yes, there are some women. But again, it's like the old seatbelt thing. It's irrelevant for the vast majority. Look, I'm so open on this. And by the way, I'm open about this because my father was. My father spoke about sex with the ease with which he would speak about the weather. That's a very. That is so fucking telling. That is so fucking telling. I'm sorry. That that is telling as hell. That is telling. No wonder he's like no fucking wonder he's a monster. Oh God, that is so fucking telling. He sounds envious of this shit. Like yes, my father used to talk about dirty shit all the fucking time. Very rare home in that regard, and he was a, and he was a religious man. He was an Orthodox Jew, and and yet he spoke about it uh, again with the ease with which, uh, and therefore I can. I got this from him, and so uh, the difference. All right, I just want to make a point right here. In the video game, if you actually look at it, um, did this man Ping actually just to dip his finger into the ashes and taste the ashes? Now, mind you, I know what happens later on in the game. I do. I know what happens later on in the game. So you know that's not anything new. But this motherfucker, speaking of sexual, he just tipped his finger in the ashes and tasted it. Like he was tasting fine wine or vagina. <laughs> Let's continue. Difference only is he spoke to the family about it, and I speak to millions of people about it. So, it, but it's really I'm sort of a conduit to my father, who who taught me it's part of life. Recognize it, control it, but recognize it. And and uh, God made us this way. There's nothing to rebel against. You just have to learn to control it, which is not. Whoa, whoa, like is he just responding to shit? Uh, not, not respond to shit. Uh, let me explain it a little bit better. Is he... His father was a monster, and he's just like, I'm just being a monster like my dad. And he's propagating this whole thing about how much of a monster he literally is. How much you want to bet that anybody that married into this family... To one of the males in this family has never had an orgasm. Talk about wet ass pussy. Like, fuck, I hate that song. And I hate it for fucking. I hate it for a fucked up ass reason. When and I've said this, when Ben Shapiro can actually keep the song on beat, it's not even it's a controversial song. Fuck it, I don't give a fuck if it's controversial. Um, but it's a pop song. It is literally a pop song. That's it. And you bet this motherfucker is also in the background talking about, yeah, some wet ass P word. Just like Dennis, Dennis Craig is doing that. Just like fucking. Just like. Um, fuck. Just like Bishop Shapiro. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get some controls going. Um. No. Video subtitles on. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Anyway, so yeah, no. It's like Dennis Burke's father's a monster. Let's continue. Not easy. Uh, he's, he would sometimes he would actually sit uh, uh, at the uh, at our Sabbath table where we did hours and hours of talking. That's where I learned a lot about life at that table every Friday night and Saturday afternoon. And uh, he would say, you know, I have one question for God. Why did he make the male sex uh, urge so strong? And my mother was present and uh, she she uh, she loved them. They were married 69 years and together 72 years, 73. Um, I I. Damn, is he describing just a fucking unhappy home? Like, seriously. That, like, the shit that he's talking about. Like, oh my god. Like, well, he would openly say in front of my mother that men have such a high sexual ur urge. And, th you know what, that's fine. If they have that relationship, you know what, I'm not going to shame somebody for their relationship of how they interact or... You know, something of that nature. I'm not going to shame it. Um, but it's getting pretty close to yikesy. 
but let's continue. Three years. And, uh, but he, he was totally uh, aware of the, of the male sex urge and spoke about it. So there, the, the first difference is the, uh, the ubiquity of, of thought about it. And it takes, it takes almost nothing to trigger that thought. The, if, uh, and that brings me to number, point number two. Wait, it takes almost nothing to... Okay, so I'm going to say this. Yes, dude, it's really easy when you've been conditioned to be... When you've conditioned that there is no limits on how you perceived as a sexual be being, of course, there is no... There is no, you know restraints on what you actually do and what you actually say when you've told when you've been told that there's no consequences to being that and you are required to express yourself only in these uh, only in these specific ways but you can have that specific ways as much as you want now here's another thing though the sad part about it is, if somebody was as sexual as you think that they are, and, but they weren't talking about sex with a woman, it wouldn't be as acceptable as you think. And that's the thing. He isn't telling you the whole truth. He isn't telling you that, oh, this, like, he's just telling you, oh, it's prolific. But there are still restrictions. And yet, also, he isn't telling you that uh, women also don't have any fucking agency in their own sexuality. And that's the problem. It's quote unquote freedom, but it's still controlled in a specific way. But let's continue. And that is the power of the visual. Women are stimulated by a whole host of things, uh, but men, for men, the visual is the most powerful. Actually, no. Women are stimulated by visual as well. They're just also conditioned to say, well, no, you need to have a man that's going to take care of you. Which is bullshit because in this individual, individualistic society, people say, no, you should take care of yourself. But, yeah, that's only for men, I guess, in their life, worldview. Versus how women should just be totally dependent on a man because reasons. I don't know. <laughs> but let's continue. And that does not have... Uh, I've, I've, I've done this so often on my, on my radio show. I have a national radio show. You, you, even people around the world listen to it. It's on the internet. And every Wednesday, the second hour of my show is about men and women. And it's, I'm very honest about it. And I've learned an immense amount because I've had thousands of people call in and send me emails. Th this is not just stuff that I knew on my own. This is stuff based on talking to so many men and women who open up to me. And so I get the argument. A woman will call up. What are you talking about? Oh, I, you don't think that I'm turned on by a, by a really good looking man? Wow. Somebody who actually disproves what he's saying. Let's see how he responds to this bullshit. Okay, so let, let me answer that. Uh, there, there are so many answers to the, the, the this question. Well, aren't women also visually aroused? Uh, yes, but this, it's not comparable. And the only reason women argue with me about this is, uh, totally understandably, because they don't understand how powerful it is in men. Otherwise, they, they wouldn't or... argue. So I have a, a, a whole host of proofs. What, the, the most, well... So, or, or, stay with me here. Stay with me. Your theory or hypothesis doesn't line up because there are some women who are sexually attracted to men based on the visual appearance. Like, this isn't hard to take people with what they're saying. It isn't hard at all. It's almost as if you don't want to believe it because then that puts a woman's agency on the same level that you appear to or you feel that you have for it's just like the shit doesn't make fucking sense because and I'm sorry guys I'm distracted the shit doesn't make sense to him because it shouldn't make sense to him 
women aren't turned on like men. Women aren't sexual beings like men. It's a difference in... I don't... Like, for somebody who's married or been around women, I don't get, like, why he doesn't get that unless he's just totally dismissive. But, of course, he is social, he's a sociopathic monster. Of course he's going to be dismissive. But let's continue. I don't know if it's the most obvious proof, but an obvious proof is uh, what uh, what men watch on the internet. It used to be in magazines, now of course it's on the internet. Uh, so I, when I will write a book on male sexual nature, which I intend to after, I have a whole, I have a series of books I have to finish. Uh, but it's very important. I, I feel a moral obligation to write such a book. So God, please don't, please don't write the shit. God, please, please don't. I'm begging you, Dennis. Don't, man, don't. Because we've already had the loser Peterson, Jordan Peterson, that actually tries this shit. And no, just don't. Let's let's just continue. I will list, uh, and I think I actually did. I think somewhere, but anyway, I I listed some of the things that are available for men to look at, which uh, for I, I won't. I won't go beyond what is allowable on public video. You can say porn, Dennis. You can definitely say porn. It's not a problem for you to say porn. Porn is a thing. Porn is a thing, man. But let's continue. Uh, but I, uh, let's put it this way. There is nothing about a woman that for which there isn't some website. Uh, I'll, I'll give you a simple one. Just legs. There are no websites of male legs to turn women on. Okay? I, I, uh, it doesn't exist. The idea is a joke. Oh, my God. Look at those legs. Oh, wow. Is that exciting? So, here's the thing. It's the same can be said for women. Like, I don't think he understands that. The same can be said for women. As far as there are things that turn women on, that turn women on. That, like, I don't think that he fully appreciates. Like, and I know it's just, it's just this shit. Like, I know people have already been probably through this video a hundred times. This video is like eight months old, but there are things that. Turn women on. Like, I've been highly, highly informed that women like to see men masturbate. Like, I didn't really think that that was a thing. I didn't really think that that was a thing as much as it's been said, but that's visual. That's definitely visual. But let's continue. Does not happen to women, but it does happen to men. In fact, you don't even need a leg. If if the society had women wearing all wearing long skirts to their ankles, and all you could see is the woman's ankle, ankles would turn men on. I'm not kidding. Uh, I, it, That's because of the repression that a lot of women have actually dealt dealt with, and the fact that it's always the sexual tension for you know people is that bucking the repression and yeah i get it like dennis like this is the argument for her job this is literally the argument for um you know burgers because it's well a woman should actually be shamed into covering herself and men should not be responsible for their own agency because oh what she was wearing and the woman had it co coming fuck out of here None, nothing i'm saying is exaggerated or kidding because you have to hear this or the or or you can't have good relations between men and women you can't base relationships on lies as as desirable as the lies may be the visual is that powerful and it, there, it, there is no equivalent in women that's not to say that a, a really a, a, an unbelievably gorgeous man uh will not uh, will not turn a woman on of course Um, 
So, let's actually just do this. Let's actually just address this one thing. If you've ever, ever seen a woman who saw a well-built man and just was just fawning over him. Not just one, not just two, not just three, but multiple women. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it because here's the thing. There are women who like looking at beautiful men. And probably understand understandably why I did this that you haven't really been the subject of that because well hate to throw an ad hominem but um have fun with that dennis have fun with that of course obviously but even that shows you the guy has to be unbelievably gorgeous whereas the, the woman doesn't have to be unbelievably gorgeous she basically has to breathe and and so th that's there's no there's no comparison how many gorgeous men are there very 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 small the vast <laughs> oh again another right winger attacking their audience because they believe their audience are stupid. They believe their audience literally are, I don't know how to say it, are just fat, slubby motherfuckers who have no discernible value to a woman other than money and you know they'll protect them from I guess I want to actually stealth through this shit um money and that's it and you have to force women to be with you in order to actually you know make some kind of human connection in the world but let's continue majority of men are average looking they become sexy by personality ambition intelligence uh i mean women fall why did you fall in love with him Very well that's i i would rescind my previous statement like, I do rescind my previous statement because he actually did say that personality does actually affect a woman's attractiveness. That's fucking awesome. Now, if only he also didn't put too much of his own. I would call it shortcomings, but Dennis Prager doesn't look like, you know, the Adonis of men. He doesn't have the body of Hercules or, you know, Apollo. But something tells me he wouldn't like to be Apollo because Apollo. But let's continue. Very few will say because he's gorgeous. Very few will say, well, because uh, he was, I, I love his sense of humor or, he, or I fell in love with his mind. That's what they will say. Not all because of his body. Okay. Now, it helped. Because women have been conditioned to look more than just the body. Women have been conditioned to look more than just more than just how somebody looks. It is a factor. It is definitely a factor. Oh my God, it's definitely a factor. But for Dennis, he doesn't understand that. But let's continue. Oops, I have no doubt about that. It's better to be good looking if you're a man than not good looking. I totally get that. By the way, most really good looking men are gay, so they're, they're out of the picture for women anyway. <laughs> oh, that's what he's been told. That's what he's been told. Wow. He doesn't understand that. 
he doesn't understand that. Wow. Wow, I am so sorry, guys. Shit. I kind of low-key feel sorry for him. I kind of low-key feel scar sorry for him because he literally actually says this shit. Unironically. Let's continue. So, this is the way it works. And that's just that's just the way it is. It's as I said, there's no legs. Uh, so, so by the way, since I've gone through all of this with women who disagreed with me, I know all the arguments. Well, you know, women are looking at pornography too these days. Yes, but it's not the same thing. It yeah, it is. They look at penis, they look at testicles. Some of them like looking at assholes. <laughs> I don't understand why, but it's not my thing. It's not my kink. And I'm not here to kink shame somebody. But the thing about it is, Dennis is so trapped into what we've actually probably understand now is his father's sexuality that he... He's probably trapped in his own what his father told him to actually believe sexually that he doesn't see it and he just sees it's natural. This is one of the problems that I have with people that are that literally take their cues from 3,000 year old books. It's, I'm trying to get this bait on this wheel. I'm sorry, guys. I'm, I got distracted. So this is the problem that I get from these guys who take their cues from 3,000 year old books. Because in the end, it's, well, I, or 2,000 year old books. I have to follow what this book tells me because it's old and it's right and it's it's old, it's right, and you know what? That's what that's what it tells me because you know because reasons and I can't think for myself or I can't question anything because I've been conditioning conditioned that questioning stuff is fucking wrong where in reality we question shit all the time to grow and become better and the fact of the matter is i don't think they really get or understand that they are literally limiting themselves on certain things because well this person said this is true even though I have no evidence of it being true. That's what they're doing. That's exactly what they're doing. They are taking essentially what one person says and putting it against their whole fucking life and making it where because that person said it, no matter testing the validity of it or not, because somebody else before me said it, it must be true. And that's fucked up. That is intellectual curiosity um, at its worst because they don't question it. The only thing that they do is try to find reasons and ways to bend it around why what they've been told their whole life is true. And that's a fucking problem. That is literally a problem. Because you don't grow from shit from that. You don't grow anywhere from it. 
you just you just stagnate. And that's what I think a lot of these guys want to do. Stagnate where they're a part of a, they have a, they're the in crowd and they can stagnate because it's beneficial for them to be part of that in crowd. And so let's continue. And, and it's not in the same numbers or the da the danger of pornography is overwhelmingly vis-a-vis -vis males. There are other dangers for women in society. Both sexes have their own problems, but this problem is overwhelmingly a male one. So the visual is has no analog for the female. By the way, it, it's that's the way. The but yeah, they just told you it does, Dennis. Like literally, they just told you, well, I'm a woman and I like to see, you know, I visually like to see men. Like, they just told you it did, dog. Uh, can you not understand that? But let's continue. The human species is made. The, the Bible is 3,000 years ago. It describes a, this biblical character in Genesis, Rebecca, as beautiful to look at and beautiful of form. In other words, a beautiful face and a beautiful body. I wonder what it was who, writ, who wrote the Bible. Like, literally, I wonder who wrote the Bible. If you really want to actually go there... It's almost like the perspective of the author played into part of what they wrote. What? No. 3,000 years ago, people made peace. People wrote the Bible or, or God wrote the Bible, whichever one you want to do. But but it, 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 it's... I like that little shout out to the, oh, we don't know who made the Bible. I like that little shout out. Like, like that, that shit was awesome. What am I supposed to do? All right, cool. I'm going to put it away. But um like did he just take legitimacy away from his Bible? Like for real, he just took legitimacy away from his Bible. Let's have some fun. That's that's the way it is. That it's not true in peacocks. In peacocks, the male is colorful and beautiful, so he is the visual stimulant. So it's true for peacocks. Did he like he literally just took away from his own his own Bible of what he what they actually just believed? Like for real. Because basically he just said that well, this particular, in this particular way. Men aren't the only things that's a visual. It can be women in a specific, uh, in a specific species. It is almost as if you're trying to make it natural. And... It's not natural as you want it to that you want to claim it is. It is not as natural as you want to say, oh, it's this. This is the reason why. This is the this is how it was designed. No, fuck, no, dog, Dennis. That's not how this works. And when somebody says it's natural for them to be more visual. You discount what they're saying because it didn't fit with your narrative of what your daddy told you. But let's continue. But it's not true for people. I can't tell you how unhappy I am that I even have to say this. I'm saying every man watching, unless he has been truly uh, brainwashed to believe what women believe, knows what I'm saying is true. I know this because I get mail from men. The men call me up. They thank me for saying it because they can't tell their wife this. By the way, I have a great video out there. He wants you. It's called He Wants You. It's, I did that video at PragerU. I only do about 10% of our videos, but that's one of the ones that I did. And it, it is about men looking at other women. And okay. So. I'm 
I'm getting a Pat Robinson vibe from what he's describing of, well, no, you just need to love your husband more and all this other good shit. And he's looking at you like, dude, okay, if you want to actually say, if you want to make the critique that, yo, well, we've been socialized as men to be a little bit more visual um, than what women are expected to do, which it really isn't true. It's just that we are given permission to enjoy our sexuality that women aren't given. That's what the real problem is, and that's what really happens. It's not that women aren't sexual creatures. It's that we are given permission that they are not given. In a sense of... We're given permissions that they are not given and our expressions of our sexualities that women need to have, like for real. Like none of this stop this we need to stop this bullshit about women can't be sexual. Uh, but without me going into that video, I don't want to really go more into that topic, but i I just say this. It sounds as if he's finding the conclusions and then trying to work himself with. Oh, yeah, that's right. He's religious. And it's very helpful to both sexes to, uh, to watch that. Because in the final analysis, yes, he looks. We are programmed to look. And by the way, my wife, too. Yes, socially programmed. The problem with a lot of these guys is they can't determine the difference between social pressures and natural pressures. Men and women are both programmed to to look at people in a specific way and determine their sexual value. And that's one thing that I won't argue with the incels on, but it's not all based on the look of someone that determines if they are completely valued. It's also about that personality, Dennis. But let's continue. I, I could not be happily married if I had to hide my nature from my own, my wife. You are, you are close to a person if you can say everything about yourself to them. This is true. Now, of course, I'm going to throw in the caveat that you should not ever, ever justify your shitty behavior of how you treat somebody by saying, well, that's just me. But he is absolutely right. I, would, I agree with Dennis on this one because, yes... You should be able to open up to your partner of who you're with, of how you are. That's actually a great fucking thing. And if you need help as far as mental help or, you know, are dealing with certain mental illness. Yeah, of course. That's different. That is definitely different. But outside of that, in healthy relationships, yeah, it's also it's awesome that. Yeah, I know I fish with a fucking. I can't even grab it yet. Fuck. Um. Yeah, it's actually healthy to, to be able to be close with your partner. That's what having a partner is being about, being close with somebody. But let's continue. The more you hide, the less you have a real relationship. The, but, and and I, therefore, I'm telling you how often there's not a real relationship between men and women, even married men and women, because, and I know this from talking to any number, I mean, thousands of men, that they, they don't let their wife know what they think sexually. Somebody's trapped in the closet. Somebody's in the closet. No, fucking being an asshole. But why not? Why not actually explore that with somebody you fucking care about, dude? It's almost as if you, like, I don't get it. Like, and you know what? I do get it. I do get it. Because for so long, we tell our women to be, only accept this. And we tell our men to only act a certain way. And 
I doubt that unless he has a totally different personality than what he portrays in these videos that he does. then I doubt that they have a relationship where I would actually call it beneficial, but that's just me and my standard. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna even lie. I can't judge them by that, but I would really, really I would really I'd really be concerned about the, ver the veracity of this argument, but let's continue. Because they're afraid of her reaction. She'll say, you're sick. That's what they're afraid. You're sick. But it's not sick. It's completely normal. Sick is molesting a child. That's sick. I, I agree. There is sickness in this world. There's plenty of it. But it male sexual nature is not sick. It is, it is, it is normal. The okay, so, I mean, like, call back to the previous video. Check out part one if you don't like, if you, if you don't know what I mean. Um, remember like and subscribe but yeah no there are certain things that we have been socialized as far as men and women to believe that certain things are bad or evil or sick where they're just not spoken about socially as they once were now do some men like and the funniest fucking part about it, I was one of the Facebook groups that I'm part of. They were talking about men who like to be pegged. And it was like, is are they gay or anything of that nature? And I, I'm of the opinion, no, they're not gay, but they're not completely, you know, even if it's by a woman, like they may actually like some things that are outside of what's considered straight. That's not a bad thing. That's just a, you're not part of what societies would consider normal, but what the fuck is normal? But Dennis, man, you can use this platform because you talk, I know you talk to a lot of religious people and in sales and all that other shit. You can use this platform to normalize what seems outside of the normal, DV, uh, the normal variation of you know, sexual experience, but you're using it to push this 3,000 year old by your terms. I only see two, but these 3,000 year old myth or belief that hey, men are supposed to be this and women are supposed to be that versus saying, like, well, we know we have science that shows that shit is different than what we've been taught to believe, and maybe, just maybe we should kind of maybe we should kind of actually look and see exactly what we've been taught before and evaluate that but let's continue doesn't mean you can act on it all the time of course you can't but that's that is so the visual and the the ubiquity uh, of the of, of thinking about it the ease with which it is triggered in males uh, but obviously you know men go to work men do their jobs <laughs> men, men get a lot done but the fact is it's almost as if they don't just think about sex you fucking idiot like really fucking really it's almost as if you know hey you don't just need to be this walking talking orgasm to show that hey men are fucking people too and poor choice of words men are people too and maybe men and women have a maybe men and women have an appreciation for sex we just need to express we just express it differently but we still have that same amount of being different. But let's continue. 
So that, that's what they think about. Uh, I'm, I'm so open about this. I'll tell you a line I tell my wife, which is, uh, I get, she gets a big kick out of it and I do. Out of nowhere, we'll be driving in the car and I'll say, you know, uh, you know, the, uh, the last thing on your mind is the first in mine. And we both crack up, and she knows I'm not talking about, you know, medieval Belgian history, which is not the first thing on my mind, generally. But how do you know, man? Like, for real, dog. Like, how the fuck do you know? But let's continue. Speaking, even if I'm in Belgium. So that's, by the way, I will be in Belgium, ironically. I'll be speaking to the uh, European uh, Parliament on, uh, in, uh, in, yes, in a couple of weeks, actually. Yeah. It's, it's on, my, yeah, it's it's on yeah. my website, DennisPrager.com. Where's Dennis? So if you are in Europe, especially near Belgium, uh, you, can, uh, you, can attend, uh, you can attend my talk. It's on freedom. It will not be on male sexual nature. It will be on freedom. So does that answer the question? Did I uh, pretty much cover the, the bases? We have two men and a woman here. It's, uh, you should ask, you should play this for your, if you're a, a, a girl uh, with a boyfriend or a woman with a boyfriend, uh, you're a, um, a, a, a wife with a husband, you know, say, is this true? And then watch him stutter. <laughs> well, it looks as if he's calling it a day. And I'm going to call it a day too, guys. Um, because one, he's getting that goofy ass look and sense of like, oh yeah, I've, I've done a big shit all over the internet. Like I'm sorry, that's 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 it. that goofy ass grin actually reminds me of. I've done a big shit all over the internet. But anyway, I am playing this game, and I'm sorry, guys. If if you want to understand Brexit, and what happened last night, Britain's relationship with the E. Sorry, I'm sorry if it seems as if um. I've been a little bit less harsh on this, but this motherfucker is a monster, and I'm sorry to say, he reminds me of a, he reminds me of somebody, a 12 year old that never actually got taught how to have relations with people or, or interact with people or just understand that his childlike understanding of how men and women re relate and react to each other. It's more than just that in the world. And I'm sorry, like, that's not how this works, man. Dennis, dog, it's more than just. It's more than just. Well, my daddy taught me this. And that's all I understand. So cool. Still think you're a monster. That goes without saying. But I think I understand why you're a monster. Because you're a fucking idiot. Anyway, guys, I want to thank everybody who's watched this video. Um, again, I'm stepping up to get more um, processor speed. If you want to actually help me out, you can actually join the Patreon or you can, um, as simple as like and subscribe to this video where I can actually grow my channel. And just be able to bring you more content. As for that, guys, thank you. And you enjoy the rest of your evening. Peace.